Hi guys! Today I will be doing the TSF task number 1, Simple Linear Regression. In this task, we are going to predict the scores of the students based on the number of their study hours. I will be using this Jupiter to accomplish this task. We begin by importing the libraries that we need. We import pandas as PD. This is used for data manipulation and analysis. We import matplotlib.pyplot as PLP. Uh, this is used for data visualization. We also need to import linear regression from a scalar linear model, which contains functions for linear models. We also need to import the train test split from a scalar model selection, which contains functions for splitting data. Let's run this script to verify that we have added all our libraries correctly. Our next step is to load our dataset. Importing our dataset using relative path, make sure to append letter R to ignore special characters in the beginning. We can also display the first five observations from our data set. Let us run this code. Next is let's try plotting the distribution of our data. And let's run this code. From the graph above, we can clearly see that there is a positive correlation between the number of hours studied by the students and their percentage score. Our next step is to extract our data into features and labels. Let's run this code to check for ends. Our next step is to split the data before we train the model. In this piece of code, I am splitting the data into train and test data, where train data is 70% of the overall data. The next step is to start training our model. We start with creating an object for linear regression and feed our same data in our regression model. And let's print training complete. Let's run this code. In our next step, we want to understand the interrelation of our independent variable and dependent variable. So we plot the regression line. And let's run this code.
Now we want to make predictions using our test data. Let's try to check it first, our test data. And next is to predict using our test data. Let's run this code to confirm that there is no error. We wish to compare the actual result and the predicted result to evaluate the accuracy of the model. Since we cannot use confusion matrix in continuous variable, we can use data frame to compare actual and predicted result and display them in a table. Let's run this code. Our next step is to do prediction using each of the data. Let's say the data in hours is 9.25 and let's call the predict function passing our data in hours and let's print some results. The given study hours is 9.25 and the predicted score by the model is 92.91. The math behind the prediction is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the coefficient, x is the independent variable, and c is the interval. Let's try to use this formula instead of the predict function and compare the result. We can conclude that using linear regression model, an independent variable such as number of study hours can be used to predict the possible scores of the students. Thank you for watching and see you in my next class.